Hey, welcome back to the channel. Got a little something on the bench for you here. We have the Super Duper Mega Ultralight 138G4S 5 incher V2.2. <laughs> so, this is the build series for the uh, V2.2. And we've already went through the frame and some of the things that we're doing. So, that video is out. And then we did a pre build video for the VTX. So, that video is out. Everything that we needed to do. Uh, the pigtail, we've finished that video. So, that's out. And the beeper. So that's finished as well. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to look at a receiver. So that's what this video is about. So stay tuned. All right, so I chose to go with the RXSR. Um, for a couple reasons, but mainly there's a handful of people that really wanted to see uh, the RXSR video on the Radio Master. So I did the firmware update to this. So that video is out. I'll put a link right here in case you need to know how to do that. So I used the Radio Master TX16S to update the firmware to the RXSR so they will communicate. All right. So the things that we need to do to prepare um, our uh, receiver in this video. Let me go ahead and get everything out of your way here. All right, so we have some things laid out on the bench here for you. So we have the manual for the RXSR, um, which I can kind of go through that real quick, why, why we're going to do what we do. But for this build, um, I just wanted to uh, take a look at the R1 and the T1 pad, so ground 5 volt R1 T1. We're not really worried about VTX in this video, and we're not worried about these things, so the beeper, and then there's some uh, GPS stuff, so we're, we're not worried about any of that uh, in this video. The only thing we're gonna focus on is this section of pads right here um, for the flight controller. So we're gonna pre prepare our receiver uh, to go to our flight controller. Now, in the RXSR, um, I, I did, I basically did the, uh, the video on the RXSR, uh, for the Radio Master to get the firmware update. So we took this little cable here and we updated the, uh, firmware on the RXSR because I have no idea what they shipped it with for, for, um, you know, the year 2022. I mean, we're like, what, six days away. Um, the uh, firmware could have been three different versions, which is so frustrating. So we have the right version on here that we needed um, to make this work. And in the package, you're going to also receive, uh, you've received the update cable, which had to be repinned. So watch that video in case you're not sure. Um, and then the cable that it comes with here. Now to prepare this cable, uh, to go into the quadcopter, we're going to remove, um, you can see here, S bus in. So we have an S bus in pad. And on this, on this uh, connector uh, wiring, that's the white one. So we could take a, a knife here and we could just pull up the pin and simply take the white wire out. Okay, so we don't need to use the white wire. So now we have our pins that we need for the RXSR. Okay. We'll go ahead and plug those in. So now we have ground and 5 volt. Let me see if I can untangle these for a second. Good grief. All right. So let me just slide that out of the way. So we'll have ground and then 5 volt. And then the next one on our, on our list here, try not to make this too long of a video, is S port and then S bus. Okay. So on this, on this, it's S port, okay? So this will go to our T pad. And then our S bus, good grief, S bus will go to the R pad. Okay, does that make sense to you now? But ground to ground, and then five volt to five volt, and then S port, so S port, smart port telemetry. Okay, we'll go to the T pad and then S bus 
will go to the R pad. And then S bus in, we're not using. If you want to, you, uh, you know, this quadcopter is kind of small, but if you wanted to do a redundant system, I do have a video. I'll try to remember to put a card here for you for the, uh, redundant, uh, RXSR and XM plus. So if you're interested, uh, but that's how that's going to be wired. Now for my, uh, for my use, I, I don't recommend it. Um, but I'm going to remove this. I'm going to unsolder this uh, connector. So I'll just take these wires and I'll cut them off and solder them directly to the RXSR. So I'm going to actually end up getting rid of this uh, connector altogether. But I'm not going to show that in the video because I don't really recommend it because it's really easy to uh, destroy these pads and then the RXSR is useless. For now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a model and I'm going to bind this up. Um, so we're going to we're going to name our model and we're going to get that ready. So let me grab the radio. All right. So we have our radio ready to go. We have our RXSR and then, um, you may have to do this in the build, but for this video, I'm just going to use a five volt. I'll try to remember to put a card up here, how to make a very inexpensive bench five volt supply. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect this up. I'm going to take a piece of tape here and just put across my leads. So they don't get away from me while I'm trying to film. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and turn on the radio. I'm going to make sure. I'm going to make sure these other, other wires aren't touching anything. Don't want them touching 5 volt or ground. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, we have our bind button ready to go. And we have something that's not sharp. Not a. Don't want to use an X-Acto knife on this. And we're going to have that ready. Now just. Just for you to remember, we, we're not using this cable. That cable is to update firmware, and I've already done that in this video. Okay, so we're done with that. I just I just marked this. I just put Radio Master TX16S um, RXSR firmware update cable. Okay, because this cable is not going to work with pretty much anything else because you had to repin it. So anyway, we'll go ahead and uh, go to Model Select and click on that and then hold down on it and then create model and then we'll go over to plane takes a second and then uh, do you have a motor yes okay so you want to you have an option of yes or no okay so we're going to go yes and then uh, what's the channel so we'll go here now i like to use tear t-a-e-r um so that's the channel mapping in beta flight. And we'll get to that later in, in the uh, build, uh, actually when we do the build. Um, but for now, we're going to go, what channel is this on? We're going to go to one. So throttle is going to be on channel one. So we're going to go page. And then number of ailerons, uh, we have one. Uh, YK, well, don't worry about that. We just have one aileron. Okay. And then what channel do we want it on? Well, channel one is throttle. And now channel two is aileron, so TA, and then page, and then we don't have flaps. So just go ahead and pay. In a quadcopter, we don't have to worry about that. So page, and then uh, choose, scroll back all the way, go one forward, one channel for elevator, so that's E, and then R, so T-A-E-R. Okay, get, get what I'm saying here. Uh, like I said, in the receivers tab, channel map, it will this will make more sense. So that's the one we want. We go here to channel three. So we want elevator on channel three and then um, channel four is, is rudder. So T-A-E-R, all right? And then uh, go ahead and hit page and go ahead and hit return and return. Now we have our model set up. So we can go into model, hold it down for a second. And then what do we want to name this? Um, I'm going to go all caps. I'm going to go uh, super duper, uh, super duper mega. All right. So <laughs> silly, silly name, super duper mega ultra 134 G4 S five I V 2.2. Okay. And you can name it whatever you want. So we're going to scroll internal, uh, internal RF. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. So multi, 
And then we don't want uh, fly sky. We want FR sky. So go to FR uh, right here. So FR sky RX, FR sky. So just SR sky only. And then, um, oops, push wrong button here. Uh, FR sky uh, D16. And then um, I'm going to choose number 40. So this is like 40th model on the radio. And then um, just so we don't forget, I'm going to go to fail safe and I'm going to go no pulse. So if, if the radio dies or something happens to the signal between the radio and the quad, it'll go to a no pulse fall, uh, fail safe and drop the quad to the ground. Um, and then also... Uh, once we're done later on, I'm not going to do it in this film, but um, we're going to do a RF frequency fine tune. I don't have a video for that. Um, John did a really good job. Um, uh, RC uh, video reviews. He did a nice job in, in doing the fine tuning. Something you want to do to get the maximum range out of your RXSR. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on bind after we get our bind button depressed here all right and then i'm going to power the rxsr up after we click on bind and we have telemetry on so one through eight telemetry on is what we want bind and then holding that down i will power that up and let go of it as soon as i see the power i have a blinking red i don't know if you can see that or not blinking red a solid blue and a solid green all right, we're going to power that off and we will power it back on. And now we have a solid, I know in the film, uh, the LED is pulsating for the uh, frame rate of this film, but in my eyes, it's solid green and a solid blue. All right, so we're bound up and now we can just double check it by paging back to telemetry and go down here, discover new sensors. And then maybe your radio, you might have to move. I, for this film, I'm trying, they're really close in proximity. But you might want to move your radio away. Uh, but yes, 5.3 volts is what um, my little power supply is giving out. And then if we cover up the antenna, try to cover that up. We see the uh, R RSSI uh, reducing, fluctuating, if you will. So that's good. So it looks like we have a good bind and we're ready to go put this in the quadcopter. I'm going to return here, return out. Uh, eventually I'll have a photograph to put here uh, of the uh, quadcopter and we should be ready to go. So I'm going to try oh, to power this off. And still okay. So we're done with the uh, radio and the RX assist, the RX. RXSS, oh my goodness, the RXSR is bound and ready to go. So this is ready to go into the quadcopter. Just one last note um, that in the, in the instructions, uh, just so you know, um, they have a little portion here. So the, when, I, when I turn the RXSR on and I get the solid green and the solid blue, I just want you to know that the uh, solid blue stays lit in S-Bus mode. Now, if you hold that bind button down too long, you're gonna put your you're gonna put your receiver into C um, was a C P P M it's or C P M or P P M um, mode, and that's not S bus, so that's not what you want. So you want to make sure that that blue LED stays lit uh, for S bus mode, because uh, and when we go do the rest of this. Um, when we do the build video, that's good. That's going to come important. So some people had a little issue with that on Facebook about, I don't know, five or 10 people. But um, if you hold in on that buying button too long, it'll it'll flip it from mess bus to CPPM. So a little, little side note there. All right. So hopefully that helped out. Uh, you know, just, just to let you know, you know, some people have held down on that buying button a little too long and flipped it into... Uh, CPPM mode instead of S bus, which is a problem when we go into beta flight later in the build. Uh, so, hey, you know, I hope this video helped you out. Uh, this dude's ready to go in our quadcopter. Like I said, off film, I'm going to remove this connector. Um, so, should be good to go. And, and you can no problem keep the connector on yours. So, 
If this video helped you out, you know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you hate it. <laughs> you give me a thumbs down, it all works. Enjoy the breeze. Thank you.